Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at something seriously exciting, seriously awesome as well, and this is actually 100% another mystery in GTA 5 completely solved, which is pretty incredible to be honest. I really didn't think we would get to the bottom of this, but this mystery has been ongoing since the release of GTA 5, and it's all regarding Morse code and where this Morse code is coming from and exactly what this Morse code translates to and this has been 100% confirmed with a variety of Morse code translator apps as well but I just want to reiterate this really couldn't have been done without any of you guys' help in the community. It's incredible to see exactly what we can do when we all put our heads and minds together so a huge huge thank you to you guys. I will be reading off a few individual names when we go on to certain steps for actually coming across this one major clue in this mystery so when we cover that clue I will of course give credit to that individual uh, but if you guys do go on to enjoy this video please don't leave without smashing that like button this is just an absolutely insane community effort and very rarely do we actually get to 100% solve something in GTA 5 and I know what you guys are thinking uh, this mystery has been solved a million times well this mystery hasn't actually been solved yet this one particular one we're taking a look at we have only found clues around GTA GTA 5 regarding it, but now we have actually solved this. So let's get straight into this and let's start talking about the Morse code. So for those of you guys who don't know already, Rockstar Games have put loads of snippets and clippets of Morse code in certain specific areas around GTA 5, especially if you go to certain radio towers or most radio towers for that matter. If you go over to many radio masts and towers around GTA 5, there's like two in Blaine County, one at Rebel Radio, one in Sandy Shores. There's also three of them on top of a huge building in Los Santos. There's also some others just dotted around the map, including the observatory. If you go over to any of these radio maths, you should hear Morse code at some point throughout the day. And in certain other locations, you will also hear Morse code as well. But we have managed to translate this Morse code and actually find the source. And as you guys have probably guessed already, the source of this Morse code is the Outrust Camp. I will explain exactly how I know this as we go on through this video but this is exactly where the source comes from and believe it or not there is actually one Lord quote for quote or, or God quote for quote uh, in the Outrust camp who we may not have actually met right now so let's get straight into this mystery and let's talk about how we know this information okay so let's start things off in the Outrust camp and already there is actually something completely red flagged here and it is the radio tower the reason why this shouldn't be here is because because the Outrust cult or the Outrust camp don't actually like modern technology. They write this down as some of the stuff they hate, some of the stuff they believe in, and they basically try to distance themselves as much as possible from modern technology. But as you guys will have known already, they do actually have their own website, which has lines and lines and lines of Morse code. And just above their Outrust camp, they also have a huge radio mast. Now this is extremely confusing considering the Outrust camp absolutely hate technology, but the reason why they have this stuff is because they want to broadcast all of their information, their thoughts and beliefs all around Los Santos, or maybe even brainwash people because their emperor or their god or their lord wants other people to believe in the same things these guys believe in. And the reason why we know this is not just because they have a website filled with Morse code, it's also because, and a huge shout out to SAN as well, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below for actually coming across this, if you actually go onto the radio mast and look at the satellite next to it, it is pointing directly towards the military base. And trust me guys, just follow me, okay? So this is how the Morse code gets around GTA 5. We're gonna go in a straight line to exactly where we put down this waypoint on the minimap. And if you follow this straight line, it will take you directly to another satellite. And this is of course the tower I'm gonna go on to now. It can also be known as a wind tower as well, but it's basically a great place to kind of detect uh, just radio waves and information like the stuff which is coming from the satellite at the Outrust camp. And of course, this will then spin off these radio waves and communicate 
communication waves across Los Santos and across GTA 5 as well. Now I do actually miss this mast, I do apologize for that. There's also a few other satellites around the military base which this also points to as well. Uh, for example, there's one right there that goes straight to the ocean. There's also a few others around this area as well. If you do go exploring around the military base, you will find a few other satellite dishes which point one towards Maze Bank, one towards the observatory, another one straight towards another building as well, which I will show you one a bit later on. But essentially, this one satellite dish is pointing directly towards other satellite dishes which can actually broadcast their communication waves straight into Los Santos. So the one we're going to take a look at right here is this one. It's the one which is pointing straight into the city and I'm just going to quickly stand on top of it and I'm going to press escape again and just go onto the map and see exactly where this is pointing to. Because believe it or not guys, this all connects up. It's pretty crazy to think, but it really, really does. So as you can see, I pretty much lined myself up perfectly and the next destination we are pointing to, this satellite is pointing to, is this building. And this is actually a pretty significant building because if we go over to it again, it is also spammed with about three radio masts, all of which pointing in so many different locations. Now, if you follow each satellite dish, it will take you to a specific location, and one of the locations, or at least one of those locations, will always be another radio mast, which will take you to another radio mast and another radio mast, and pretty much all of them will go around the entire of San Andreas, but none of them will point back to the Outrust camp because that is where all of the communications and signals are feeding to. It's coming straight from the Outrust camp which is just pretty incredible. So this is clue number one that the information is coming from the Outrust camp. This pretty much confirms that all of the information is coming from the Outrust camp and this is the source of this information and the Morse code. So any Morse code you hear around GTA 5 or San Andreas is all coming from the Outrust camp, or at least most of it. I understand there is a hatch in the ocean. That is a separate Easter egg away from that. But the majority of Morse codes you will hear around GTA 5, whether it's at night, time, whether it's at daytime, if you are near a radio mast, it has most likely come from the Outrust camp as they are feeding these Morse code signals into Los Santos. And the next clue which I'm going to go into, this actually comes from a user known as Tororus. I do apologize if I said that wrong, it's something like Tororus or something. Tororus Gaming, a huge shout out to you. He actually managed to translate the Morse code using a Morse code translator. I believe he recorded one of my videos and then fed the MP3 into an app of his, but it actually managed to translate the Morse code and it's pretty incredible exactly what this translates into. So just taking a look at this video, unfortunately I cannot show it, but I will read this off. If you guys want to go and check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 100% legit. If you come over to the radio mast at Rebel Radio around 2 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the morning, and you will hear this over the entire night. I believe you'll hear parts in different parts of Morse code, but if you add it all together in one huge file and translate it, it will translate to something like this. SOS, ban lies, ban youth, ban deceit, eat of the flesh, drink of the blood, we shall be free once more because we know altruism, the greatest good for the greatest generation, we. So unfortunately that's as far as we got, but this is 100% from the Outrust camp, it even says altruism, and even if you go on their website, you can see lines and lines and lines of Morse code just on their website for us to translate. So this is actually the Morse code signal which is being fed across Los Santos. There's also a few other sentences as well, whether all of them are from the Outrust camp isn't yet confirmed, but we know the majority of them are 100% definitely from the Outrust camp, which is pretty incredible. Okay, so moving on to the next step of this mystery. Now we know where the Morse code is coming from. Now we know what this Morse code means. This actually opens up another mystery of itself because this could be a lot bigger than what we all expect. Now we've solved the first part of this mystery, but let's take a look at the official Outrust site. You can find this on uh, GTA 5, just type in coldstoppers.com, go onto the Outrust, the bottom column, and if you guys read it, it will basically tell you exactly what this is and what they do, etc, etc, and as you guys may know, you actually sacrifice people in the Outrist camp. There's uh, certain side missions you can do where you bring people and deliver people to the Outrist camp, and there's loads of missions you can do, and there's also a rock which has a jetpack on it as well. But thinking even bigger than this, because the Outrist camp is doing such significant stuff across San Andreas, and it has this amazing power to kind of infiltrate the systems with their Morse code, they also discuss that the more sacrifice 
sacrifices they do, the better chance they have of bringing back their leader, who is also known as Lord Zapho, who is coming back to reclaim the Earth. So this is kind of like a god in alien terms or something. It's basically their cult god, and they want to bring Lord Zapho back. And in order to do so, they have to kill as many people or sacrifice as many people to Lord Zapho on that one jetpack stone you can find in the Altrist camp. So this is extremely mysterious, very, very exciting though. And just as I'm about to end this video, I also want to throw this in as a piece of information which I'm connecting up to this, because as you guys remember, when we took a little dip inside the game files, we found there was a secret cutscene activator which was related to another UFO. So what if Lord Zapho is this secret cutscene? Because it's an alien, it's someone extraterrestrial, there is certainly a way to activate a secret UFO cutscene as we can see in the game files. We do not know what this relates to, we do not know what this is, but how cool would it be if you could bring back Lord Zapho after sacrificing so many people and this secret cutscene actually takes place? That would just be insane, but I would love to know your thoughts about this down in the comments section below. I'm super, super happy we managed to get this far into this mystery, so a huge shout out to you guys for just chipping in with your thoughts and theories and stuff. I am super excited to see exactly what comes out from this. But if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video, please don't leave it out smashing that like button. Of course, guys, feel free to click that subscribe button as well so you won't miss out on any more GTA 5 content just like this. And let me know your thoughts, questions, and queries down in the comments section below. But guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.